Hi, I'm Dominic. And I'm Kevin. And we're the, the Pines Estate Boys. <laughs> shows our personality. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dominic. And I'm Kevin. And we're the, the Pines State Boys. So today is all about our sheet music wall in our music room. I have always wanted a music room in our house because my goal in life is to eventually invite all of my friends that I love and that are extremely talented, which would probably fill our whole two acre property, but uh, invite as many as I can at one time to create new works and new music and brand new shows to be able to perform it all throughout the country and all throughout Michigan here in Mount Pleasant. Just bring Broadway, bring world-class entertainment to mid-Michigan. That is my biggest goal in moving back to Michigan. And we have this huge, beautiful music room to help create it. And this sheet music wall here, and our sheet music wall right there, they have songs from all different shows that either both of us have been in, or songs that have really big meanings to either myself or to Kevin or to both of us. I have Kevin is in love with Kinky Boots, so clearly we have Land of Lola right there. Uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water, that is a song that has been near and dear to me for forever. I actually have a lyric of it tattooed on my arm. I have Life is Just a Bowl of Cherries. I love that song so much that I actually have a bowl of glass cherries that sits on my piano. These cherries were actually made in Murano, Italy as well, just like our chandelier. I bought them. And then we have a lot of other sheet music and songs like everywhere, and there's more sheet music and songs that are sitting behind our piano. But unfortunately you can't see it, but we know that it's there and it all has amazing, beautiful meaning to all of us. Now, the most important song on our sheet music wall is... Can't Help Falling In Love With You. Now I put it right here because this is Kevin and I's Song. This song has been in almost every cruise ship contract that we had been in. And it is actually I sang part of that song to him right before I proposed to him. It was very sweet. Okay. He balled. He balled a lot. Yeah. For a week. It was very nice. Great. <laughs> we hope you enjoy our creation. It's a fun new take on wallpaper. I, wallpaper can get kind of expensive and I found ways throughout our house to add our own touch of our version of wallpaper. Yes. Yeah, and to make it exciting and fun and make it us. It's a fun project you can do on your own. You can do it if you have a family, you can do it with them. I have family members that thought about doing like a Harry Potter wall while taking pages from their favorite Harry Potter book and making a really cool wallpaper out of it. Tonight, I'm gonna start a new project. My new project is all about uh, taking one, two of the walls and in our music room and I'm going to we're gonna put sheet music on the walls and then we're gonna put Mod Podge over it to make it look like a sheet music wallpaper we've done something similar like this to our upstairs hall where we took three different book wallpaper that which turned out really well so right now I'm just sitting down here printing up sheet music I think I need probably gonna take about 150 songs I'm taking the, the first page of every song you okay, see the title of about 150 of our favorite songs that we're gonna post up there here's one of the songs we're gonna put on there take on me still waiting the printer is saying something. Yay. I don't even know what it says. The ink may have run out. That stinks. So I have printed out all the music. I finally got the other ink. Thank goodness, because I ran out of that. And I will show you how I do this. As you can see, I have some done already. So I take the sheet music. I put it in there. Dip it. Dip it like so again making sure that most of it is covered. Then with us, we just have an old screen that we're laying down. And this helps keep the air on both sides so it helps it dry a lot faster. And then I just straighten it out. 
And then you just keep repeating that till you have all the sheet music that you have done. And you're golden. We let it dry overnight. And then we're going to take this wall right here. And this wall right here. And we are going to cover it in sheet music because this piano is going to go up against this wall. And we have to get this wall done because the piano is going to be tuned in a couple of days. We need to make sure we're not moving the piano once it's already been tuned. So right here is a picture of like how we're going to start. Just lining that up. Have this slicer thing that helps get the edges. It's like really, really good pointy. There you go. And then we just use all of our favorite things. Much fudge and then, you know, paintbrush and all that. All right, hope you enjoy the finished product. All right, here's a progress shot of the first little part of doing it. It is really hard. Those edges are so difficult. Like a pain in my you know what. Doing this kind of wallpapering, always make sure you put a second coat on, that way it really seals it in. And that way you don't have any corners that bump up and it really gives it an extra protection. If you want to add a third coating, you can, but I always realize that two works the best. We finish the first wall. My whole motto is, it's definitely not perfect, but it's done with love, because clearly I should have started on the left, because I had this little strip, like right here, that like was extra all the way down. So what I did is I just took the scraps, just because it's a tiny bit, and just ran it all the way down, filling in all the gaps. And then I'm gonna go along once it dries, cut it off, make the edge. So there's one coat on, another coat to go. And then also, uh, what I realized, I ran out of music, so I need to pick 25 more songs because we are going to do that wall right there next time, and then we'll be done. decide which songs I want to see at what places. So I have some of my favorite songs that I want to fit in the middle of the wall so I can always see. And then some of the other songs that I do care about but not as much, I put them higher or lower. And here we are, off to the races. through and put my first coat of two coats. You could do two to three coats if you like on there so it keeps it nice and firm and a bit more of a smooth finish. We bought trim and stained it to match the shiplap that we have throughout our house and we installed it and just to give it a nice little border to help just it's make it touch. yeah make it almost look like it's a picture, picture frame yeah.
If you've liked our videos, please like and subscribe. Also visit us on Instagram and TikTok at the Pines Estate Boys. Again, that's at the Pines Estate Boys on Instagram and TikTok. See you later. Bye. Smoke on. Poof. We're still here. <laughs>